dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. Seriki Fulani Abdelkadri has told reporters in Ibadan that he, his wives, and children were sent out of the settlement, adding that 11 vehicles and houses were burnt in the process. He told Sahara reporters that despite assurances by the police and the people of the state, his house was burnt in the presence of security agents. He said, as we speak, we are in the bush. Our cars, numbering about 11, have been burnt. Some of my children sustained injuries and we are looking for ways to take or get them to a hospital. My children have left their houses for the bush. We need the government to help us. Police operation, BOST, and other security agencies were there when they set my house ablaze. Chairman of the Miyeti Alakatu Breeders Association in the state, Alhaji Ibrahim Gigi, also confirmed the incident to Sahara Reporters' correspondent on phone. He said, as we usually say, not all Fulani people are evil. There are good people among us. What can we call this now? This man is a gentleman and see how he was chased out of his house. We need the government to act now, he said. Sunday Aramo, an agitator for Odua people or Odua Republic, popularly known as Sunday Igboho, on Friday visited some Oyo communities to confirm compliance of the Fulani people with the seven day ultimatum he had given them last Thursday to leave Ibarapa and the Igaga areas of Oyo states. Fulani headsmen have largely been blamed for the growing cases of killing and kidnapping in the southwestern Nigeria. Speaking with reporters early Friday morning, he affirmed his decision to visit the communities despite the threat by the governor of Oyo State, Shehima Kinde, to arrest him. In a video shared online, Sunday Igoho was well received during his visit to the Igogo community as scores of people converged for his reception. The people were seen jubilating, dancing, and singing. Addressing the people, Sunday Igoho said, The Fulani have gone. We have sent them out of our land and they cannot come back again. Kidnappers cannot rule over us. They can't take our land from us. It belongs to us. They should stop threatening. Those who live with us peacefully, we are not fighting them. But how will a visitor claim one's house from him? If you live with us in peace, we have no problem with you. But if you decide to kidnap and kill us, we don't want you here. I assure Yoruba people, particularly those in Oyo State, that there is no danger. This one we have started here in Oyo State will not end here. 
We are going to other parts of the southwest. Tell Fulani headsmen in Ekiti State, in Ondo State, and Osho State. In fact, in all southwest states, that they should get ready for us because we are coming. In an interview with Sahara reporters, Sunday Igboho also alleged that the administration of President Muhammad Buhari had not brought anything good to the people of the Southwest except social vices. Igboho therefore called on the president to take the Fulani out of Yoruba land. Buhari should come and evacuate his people from our land. We don't want them again. They are just punishing the youth. They have turned us to nothing. Why? The educated youth don't have jobs. Nothing. The game now is to kill and kidnap us. We are still on the unemployment issue. We have accepted our fate. Should we not be in peace and enjoying security again? It's enough, he said. Earlier in the week, Sunday Iboho also alleged that when he visited Seriku Fulani of Oyo State, Al Haji Saliu Abdukadri, at his home, to urge him to do something about the killings and kidnappings being carried out by the suspected Fulani headsmen in the state. Some Fulani people threatened him with guns and also shot at him. He alleged that one Fulani man also brought out an axe to threaten him. But however, that is now past it. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? As Sunday Boho has made through his threat to vacate the Fulanese from the communities in Oyo State as the seven-day ultimatum he gave them had elapsed. Now, it is being reported that the Serikian Fulani of, in Oyo State is now crying out that he's been driven out of his home and his home has been burnt down by the youths. You recall that Sunday Igboho assured the people of the community that the Fulani will leave the community. Though it was expected to be in a form of exchange of, uh, you know, clashes, but it did not happen in a violent matter. But they were chased out and uh, their buildings or properties were said to have been burnt. And according to reports that is coming in, 11 cars were said to have been burnt. The question is, how did the Seriki acquire 11 cars? How did he acquire 11 cars? And don't forget these cars, some of them were said to be very exotic cars. According to Sunday Igboho, where he said that some of those cars were worth 6 10, 15 million naira per one. So the question is, how did the Seriki of Fulani got to acquire such uh, luxurious vehicles? Although Sunday Igoho concluded that it was truly the proceeds of kidnapping that could give him such amount of money that it is not the cows that they are selling. But it remains to be seen if that is actually the truth of the matter or if that is what it is. But however, the question is, how did the Seriki was, uh, how did, how was he about, uh, how was he able to come up with or come about 11 expensive exotic vehicles? Well, that is left for the security agencies to actually um, find out. But it is what it is. From the news that is filing in or coming in at the moment, it is being reported that the Seriki Fulani and the Fulanis have been chased out of the Ibarakpa and the Gogo area of Oyo State, whereby uh, 
fulfilling his promise of ensuring that the Fulani headsmen leave those communities. Well, guys, it is what it is. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story, as it were? Please drop by at the comment section let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.